now we uh, are very um, proud to be able to give these Distinguished Service Awards to folks who, who could be here, actually all but one. Uh, uh, Officer Martinez is ill and can't attend, uh, but we have everybody else here and or a son uh, to receive these uh, Distinguished Service Award from the City of Austin. And this is slightly different only because these folks are, are still with us and, and uh, uh, six of these seven are APD officers. Uh, City of Austin Distinguished Service Award for his brave action on behalf of city citizens of Austin during Charles Whitman's rampage atop UT's tower 41 years ago. Again, I'll read these now. Our first is to APD Officer Philip Connor. <laughs> APD Officer Jerry Day. Again, we um, earlier said that uh, Officer uh, Romero Martinez can't attend, he's ill, but we will make sure we get uh, his Distinguished Service Award uh, to him. And of course, APD Officer Houston McCoy. APD Officer Harold Moe. <laughs> APD Officer Milton Showquist. And then William Wilcox, whose son John is here to accept the award. Uh, so again, uh, we've talked about doing this um, for a number of years. Uh, last year, because of the 40th anniversary, there was, a, there was heightened you know, public awareness and, and the press did a, a good job of both covering you know, frankly, the, the horror of that day, but more importantly, as we were talking about today, uh, heroic actions by not only uh, sworn officers, but also uh, average citizens who went above and beyond uh, and gave of themselves to help us end uh, Austin's darkest day. So please, once again, join me in congratulating and thanking some heroes amongst us.